Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making you all some golden wings. But I'll be cooking them two different ways. I'll be seasoning them the same way where I'll be using some honey, bacon powder, paprika, some Old Bay, salt, pepper, some extra virgin olive oil. Also be using some butter and uh, some parsley. And I have, I'm going I'm to cook, it's about 14 wings, so I'm going to cook seven in the uh, Fifa dome and I'm gonna put seven in the oven. I want to see the difference in it because I'm I'm just an old-fashioned person and I like the oven. So I'm gonna see the difference in them. Like I said, I'll be seasoning them the same way and I'll get back with you all. Okay, I'll be getting ready to season my chicken. What I'll be using, I'll be using the baking powder, about a tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, paprika, and Old Bay, and I'll be using a little uh this uh th as long as it coat all my ingredients i probably about two tablespoons of it so i'm gonna start with my uh, baking powder measure it up put it in here a little bit more because i don't I always go with a little bit more um uh uh green uh, ingredients because i don't want i hate to run out now this is a teaspoon put about two of these in here Pepper, same amount of pepper. Everything should be equal. I'm well, just I'm gonna try it out. I'm, like I said, I never uh, did it before. I have used the air fryer and when I first got it. I introduced y'all to it. I didn't, the corn was good, you know. I that was my first thing. I want to cook some meat in it. Cause one thing about my chicken, I like for my chicken to uh, to be that I can eat the bones of it. Now that gristle, I like to. I can taste that. I noticed sometime in the air fryer, I never saw that done, you know, um, that, that, that the, um, the, um, the uh, grits will be uh, done to me. It'll be kind of tough. I'm going to see the difference today. Like I said, I like to chew all my bones if I want to in my chicken. I would like for it. You know, I don't really chew them, but I, if I want to, I would like to do it. So I'm going to mix all this together, together, all this. And now as I get through mixing, I'm gonna put it on my chicken. And I'm gonna rub it all in. I'm gonna let it set for about 30 minutes after I rub it in. Okay, I'm gonna get this out the way and get back with you. Okay, make sure your chicken is dry because you want all the season to go in. I pat dry them. Make sure you wash them and clean them. Clean it good and get all the hair off because nobody want to eat chicken wings with hair on them. I mean, sometimes you go, you see it. Sometimes it's hard to get all the pieces out. Although I wash it, I just look again and see if I see any. But anyway, I'm going to add something else to mine. I'm going to add some of the sasson, just a little bit in there, just to give it a, another taste. I didn't mention that. Put a little, just a little bit in there. I'm going to stir this up good, and then I'm going to add my oil. You got to put the extra virgin olive oil in here with this seasoning. Make sure you mix it good. All my seasons. Like I said, this is a quick recipe, all right, little thing, you know, quick, you can do it. So I'm going to add some oil, but I don't know how much oil I'm going to put in. I'm going to just make sure that, oh, this is going to be the marinated with. You want enough to marinate this with. Pull slowly and mix it. Put a little bit more. You know you need a little bit more and just mix it together. Okay. Shaking. I don't know why I'm shaking. Okay. I want to see this. I know I'm not nervous about getting this together. A little bit more in here. Just a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. Just enough to marinate it. I don't I don't know the measurement, so I'm just going to do It's almost about right. Let me see. Add a little bit more in there because I want all of this to go. I don't want to make no more. I want all of this to go in here. So I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Put that down. A little bit more so I can rub it all over this uh, chicken, these chicken wings, so all, all of it will be coated the same. So, put just a tap more. Just a tap more. Okay, that's about it. Let's pour it till you think it's right. So, I'm going to start putting this on here. This chicken. Start pouring a little bit at it. Trying to put some on there. So that's why that old, and I'm going to take it and 
coat it really good. Mash it in, season it, and you're gonna let it set up for you're gonna let it set up for uh, 30 minutes in the refrigerator after you put all of this in there. So that's I know I got enough because I haven't even poured much in there. But you want all your chicken to be uh, seasoned, coated with this uh, sauce that I made. Make sure all of it's coated. So I see a piece of hair. I'm going to get this off. I hate that. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to coat it very well. Set it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to let it set out for another 10 because you don't want like to put cold. You don't want to put cold uh, meat in this oven or in, on a dome. You can let it set out for a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to finish this and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it rest for about at least 30 minutes. I'm going to get back with you. Okay, my uh, uh, chicken wings are marinated for about 30 to 40 minutes in the refrigerator. Now, let them set out for about 10 to 15 minutes to get kind of, you know, room temperature a little bit. You don't want to put them so cold in the uh, fire or the oven. So, I'm going to put seven here in this uh, pan. I'm going to bake them in this pan. And my oven is heat to 350 over there. So I got seven in here, and I'm going to put seven in this uh, dome. I think that in the oven, they're going to cook about 40 minutes, uh, uh, 30 minutes, and then I'm going to turn them over. Now in the dome, they only have to cook 30 minutes total, then I put the sauce. But here, I have to, this is an extra step, that's three, six, okay, I'm going to put these in here. Same way, I kind of open, you can open them up if you want to, you know, kind of have them open up a little bit. Your legs open up. You can spread the way you want to. If this is not the best way, let me know in my notes. Because like I said, this is my second time cooking on one. I'm an oven person, but I'm going to try the difference. I'm going to see. I'm going to let you all know. Once you put it on the broil, okay, this uh, threes. See? One more. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set mine in the uh, oven first. I'm going to let them cook about um, just three, six. I'm going to let them cook about a total of uh, about 30 minutes. I'm going to check them. And what I do, I put them in. I'm going to put these in. When, once I think these have cooked, once the ones in the oven have cooked 10 minutes, then I'm going to set these into the dome. It takes about uh, It takes about 30 minutes for these right here. You don't have to touch them. You don't have to turn them over. I don't think you have to turn them over. But I know you have to turn these over in the oven. So that's a little convenient inconvenience. So I'm going to put these in here first. Like I said, I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to cook for about 30 minutes, I mean 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put mine in there. I'm going to set mine and turn the dome on. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Okay, I took, I let them cook for about 15 minutes on one side and I'm turning them over. And I'm gonna cover them a little bit because it takes wings, you know, in the oven. I boost my oven up to 400 too because I see that wasn't working good enough for me. And that's what I normally cook, but the recipe calls for. And I'm gonna let these cook about another 20 minutes and they should be almost, probably another 30 minutes. They should be done because I'm gonna wrap them up. Okay, I'm gonna set these in the oven. I'm gonna get ready for the air party. I put my wings back in the oven. I cut the oven up, up a little higher because mine, like I said, every oven is different. Now I'm getting ready to start this. They've been, I'm getting ready to start. My wings been cooking probably about 20 minutes more than the air fryer. So I'm gonna adjust mine since I never cooked them before. I'm gonna set it on 30. I see wings over there and I touch that. I'm gonna put it in and close it. It's already set and I hit start, right? Other one, the plus. Okay. Okay, I had to find out what I put. I uh, plus. I hit. There was a plus. So I'm gonna let these cook for the minutes they got on here, and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get back with you all when I get ready to make my sauce. I'm gonna make butter and honey and a little parsley for the. I'm gonna. Uh, once these come out, these should be ready. But the ones in the oven, that's another step I got to do. That's three steps. I got to put the. Uh, butter and honey and parsley on them and put them back in the oven on broiler so they can get crispy. Okay, get back with you. Only thing I'm getting ready to that goes in my sauce that I'm gonna put over my wings uh, is honey, butter, it's a stick of butter, some parsley and some old bay. This is a teaspoonful of old bay I'm gonna put in here. In here, okay, got that. Then I'm gonna put some parsley, I'm gonna put my honey in first. Then I'm gonna put the parsley in. 
squeeze how much honey you want. I mean, till you make it, you know, as sweet as you want. And so it, make it so that it'll be able to spread on the wings. Stir it up good. So it'll coat the wings. I'm gonna put a little bit, that's about almost. I'm gonna put a little bit more honey in here because I want to coat the wings. Okay. I'm gonna check on the ones in the air for a few seconds. They sounding good, I don't know. But I'm gonna choose now. I'm gonna put a little parsley in here. This fresh parsley. Put some in here. And this honey butter and parsley. Melted butter. A little bit more parsley. And I'm gonna set this aside. So I check on my wings. Okay now. I'm gonna check on the one in the air fryer. They probably almost ready. They look good. Oh my God, they look so good. I'll probably cook them, that's the way they fly. I like that look, I swear I do. I like that, love that look. So I'm gonna probably take them out in about two more minutes. Make sure they're done. Okay, I'm gonna check on the ones in the oven as soon as I get this out the way. Okay, I'm getting ready to bottomize. Now the ones in the oven, this is the best way. You gotta put this on top of this and let these cook a little bit more. I mean, and then the ones in the air fryer, the dome, you have to take and just gonna put it on top and you'll be through with them. So that might be, you go through more process, but I don't know. Um, I love my oven, I'm gonna try that out. It probably works both ways. Okay, I'm gonna let these stay in the oven for a while. Put them back on broil, I'm gonna cut it up a little bit more, higher for broil. Let's look, I better save some for these. <laughs> coat these a lot. Okay, I'm going to set these in the oven. I'm going to put it on broiler, send it in the oven. I might cut my oven up just a little bit more. And I know these over here are ready. See, these are good to go. They uh, look so good and crunchy. I think that's all I'm going to cook them. And this fire, I think they cooked about 25 minutes to the 30 minutes. So, okay, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna take and glaze them and put them on a plate and get back to you. Okay, these are uh, the air fryer. The, uh, not the air fryer, this is the type of dome. Sorry, that's it, type of dome. And they look so good. I'm putting the sauce, the butter sauce with the bay seasoning, butter, parsley, and honey. And so I'm gonna put these on these. So I'm gonna put these on a the plate, both of them. Now I'm getting ready to take the ones out the oven. Okay. Got the ones in the oven. That's an air fryer. Now I'm taking the ones out the oven. Okay, pick your choice. Let me cut the oven off. Okay, this is oven and this is air fryer. It's up to you. These are tender. I told you, these are tender. These tender. I like the ones in the oven, but I don't know. So I'm gonna put these on a plate. This is air fryer oven. Same seasoning, same everything. Put them on the plate. I'm gonna let you see how they look. Okay, now here's the oven. I got a salad. I made a salad like I made when I first, my first video, check that out, World Healthy Salad. I made that um, when I did my first video. Check it out. That's how I made my salad. Okay, that looks so good. My goodness, I'm gonna take a picture of it. Put you some salad dressing, your choice, get closer. Okay. Thank you all for tuning in to my presentation. I cook the uh, wings. I use an oven and I use a, a typer dome. And I just, both of them taste good. I text them, both of them tender. The oven, it might be a little tender, just a little bit, but the, and the, the dome might be a little crunchy. So that's up to you. And I made a salad to go with it. And you put your dressing. It's a world healthy salad. I made that on my first video. So you can check that out. But thank you all for tuning in to my presentation and cook. Once again, here is the, uh, that's the dome. And here's the, the oven. Like I said, thank you all again for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. And if you like this video, share it with friends and family. And once again, thank you for tuning in Maddie's Kitchen and have a wonderful day.